we are going on a picnic with our friends today. chips from here let's see we just got some snacks we have a bottle of wine that we brought from home just to take with us we got a chocolate chip cookies and we got oh, some yeah. also I'm wearing a dress today like a really pretty dress and the bump is bumping it's a lot of people at the park today yeah. yeah. Definitely picked up seasons. I should have wore shorts. It's all right. No, oh, I had I had a cup over here actually. Uh, it's somebody else probably. Like the dresser, more like summer, summer. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's why I know about this. Twenty ten. Twenty four. <laughs> everyone's head is down, but, uh, fucking kidding. This guy, uh, I just went to Scott. Good little flower. Everybody got some flower to take home. So now we're just gonna go home. What do you wanna do? Movie night. Uh, you wanna have a movie night or something? I think a movie night sounds good. far from where we live we actually had to rent a car which is why I'm in a car and we thought that if CJ go pick up the car by around 10 30 my appointment is at 1 o'clock but I wanted to get there 15 minutes early because they said to be there 15 minutes early but he decided that he's gonna pick up the car at 10 30 so he, when he got there it was like long lines of people and stuff like that so he took time and he ended up picking me up from home at like around 11 20 which still feels like you know there's a lot of time but it turns out there is traffic right now my phone is telling me that we're gonna get there in about an hour and 11 minutes and that's literally two minutes before my appointment and if we get there on that time that'll be fine like I'll just run up while he's trying to park and then make it on time but if I miss this appointment that would be like so bad because I'm really behind with my hospital appointments because I was in Dallas and this is my 20 weeks anatomy scan but I'm already 24 weeks but they, can, they say they can still do it um, so this is like my last chance to do it and the hospital that I go to is really far but my hospital that I go to for every like you know monthly checkup is pretty close it's just that this is a big ultrasound and that one is going to be at the main hospital that they work with which is also the hospital that I give birth that I'm going to be giving birth at so yeah wish me luck let's see how this goes So we made it to Manhattan and oh my goodness there was so much traffic and it now says that we'll get there at 1.10 or oh, 1.11 it keeps adding um, I called them and they told me they will give me like a 15 minute grace so if I, if I try to make it by 1.15 it's fine but if not then I'm gonna have to reschedule so hopefully I get there and I know exactly where the place is because I still have to go look for it once I'm in the hospital but yeah we're still 40 minutes away guys I'm so stressed it literally like this traffic is like the worst traffic in the history of traffic because now it says 114 like I'll get there at 114 and that means I have like one minute to get to the desk and um, yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do I had to pay for parking, but so. Hey guys, so I just got back home now. It's literally 4 o'clock. So it took us like, I don't know, we finished at 2 o'clock. We got home like 2 hours later. The traffic is so like crazy. We live in Brooklyn. Coming all the way from Manhattan is just... And we also stopped by to get Chick-fil-A. So that's also why I'm about to eat. Riley. 
that's not for you so stop sniffing <laughs> i'm so hungry like i haven't had lunch yet basically what happened earlier was that we got there right at 1 15 and they told me that if i did go anything faster than that they would i would have to reschedule and when i got to the hospital lobby i know my floor is going to be on the second floor so i was trying to go straight to the second floor and the guy was like oh ma'am he brought me back tell him i have to check in i have to get in a line give my id and then they have to print out this tag or something like that and give it to you and i was like oh my god it's already 118 i'm not gonna make it after this so by the time i got my tag i see then there's an elevator and there's a long line of people on the elevator waiting for the elevator and then i told the lady i was like can i please take the stairs i'm on the second floor like i can't wait till the elevator comes she was like there's no other way and i was like oh my god i have to wait so i waited for the elevator to come and then as i was in the elevator i actually got a call from them they were like hey calling from this hospital about your one o'clock appointment and i was like i'm here i'm literally in the elevator i'm walking there right now i'm coming and then they were like okay so i walked in i think at like 120 and the nurse that's supposed to do my ultrasound she was just standing there just waiting for me it was just me it was my appointment for that hour so they have like back-to-back -back appointments so i felt bad because she was kind of like let's go let's go like we're in a rush it takes an hour to do this so we got there and then cj went to park the car so i got there by myself at first and then she was like let's go in straight like uh very fast and i told her oh my husband's coming she's like okay when he comes he can just join us and i was like okay so we went in and then we did the ultrasound and everything everything came out really good the baby is like one pound and she told me it was normal because a lot of people were telling me that for six months or like for five months that my belly was not that big like while i was in dallas i heard that a lot and i was kind of concerned so i told the nurse about it and she told me no it's normal everybody's like different and all that it looks really good and it was really fascinating to see the baby like more developed than my last ultrasound like i can see bones and everything so it's very like detailed ultrasound so it was really nice seeing that and they confirmed the gender i actually know the gender when i did my nipt test back when i was like 12 weeks well uh, 12 weeks along but for some reason i wanted to wait till now to confirm before i tell you guys and they confirmed the gender so i am having i'm having a baby girl so actually like all my friends and everybody know about it and everybody kind of expected that i'll be having a girl i don't know why i actually thought it was gonna be a boy like my entire first trimester i thought it was a boy for some reason um but it turned out to be a girl i'm so happy i'm honestly happy with either one it doesn't matter to me but i'm really happy to be like a girl mom i'm looking forward to it like it's gonna be so cute to like go on mommy daughter dates you know it's gonna be like so cute to do girly things together but yeah i'm really excited and i thought i'd just give you guys a little update on that
so I just finished doing my makeup right now because I have another hospital appointment today today is Today they're gonna draw my blood for gestational gestational diabetes. I'm 24 weeks, so they're gonna taste that. I'm really scared of needles, so at this time it's gonna be the hospital that's close by. It's not as far as the one from yesterday, but we're still gonna leave really early. So we're not gonna be late again. One thing that I realized when I came back from Dallas is that I don't have any more outfits that fit me. Like all my old clothes don't fit me anymore. So now so I have to kind of work with what I have now and and for now, I have to keep mix matching the clothes that I have. So right now, I'm actually trying to wear something cute to the hospital because I want to take pictures for Instagram while I'm around that area. And so you guys have seen this set before because I wore it in my last vlog. But this time, I'm going to style it a little bit more different, a little bit more streetwear style with hat, a bag, and like this boots. So this is what I'm planning on wearing. I'm going to wear it and show you guys how it looks. I've styled this set with hat a jewelry and then this bag and this is how it looks pretty cute i'm also wearing these boots it looks really nice all together i might add shades it's really bright outside i wanted to show you guys like the full fit but it's like so hard here yeah this is this is pretty much it We're gonna make it on time this time. Right on time. It seems like it looks smaller than the last one. Smaller than the last one? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Yeah, these are the smaller socks that we have. Drawing blood, y'all. I hate drawing blood, but I did good though, right? Yeah, good job, right? I have to like look away. I can't look. I don't like drawing blood. Thank god it's over. After this, we can go get something we have to eat. There's a cookie place down the street, okay? Of course, so yeah, so the top of the uterus is all the way up here, measuring exactly 24, which is perfect, right? Where we expect we. Sounds good. It's like 160, which is fast, but baby's moving around, which I can hear in there. Yeah. Um, and it's we came to Tain Ichi Marts. decided to come to French Louis first time here David. craving pancakes
How do I do this? Do I just pour it? I feel like it's gonna spill everywhere. Oh my god. Okay, I think that's, that's enough. That's enough. Also just made some eggs and some sausage for CJ and I. Royal. Royal. No. Tastes really good though. I'm so full. It is Saturday today, so I'm about to publish a video on my art channel. I haven't published in a really long time because I've been away. Uh, but I think a lot of people still don't know that I have a separate art channel now, and I used to do art and live style together in this channel but I decided to separate it recently and so yeah I have a separate art channel and yeah so if you are interested in the art side of my like videos then just subscribe to my art channel I will link it down below and yeah so I'm just gonna publish a video it's been a really long time like I feel so bad for not publishing that's the video right there just an art vlog in the studio and it's out now I can feel the baby move a lot more nowadays I can actually like feel my like belly moving kind of thing it's a very strange feeling but it's kind of like exciting and reassuring knowing that she's okay in there I just got back from a walk with Royal, which is why I've changed my clothes. I'm gonna end this vlog here so that way I can have it up for tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this week's vlog and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!